Hey, Roman, why are we going to Cheyenne? Uh, well, Nathan, I did a thing. <laughs> okay, what thing did you do? I bought a car. Uh, why aren't you telling me what this car is? Because this car is special, Nathan. It's a car that you can't buy. And I just don't mean you. I mean, anybody out here in America can't buy. Okay, and why are we bringing the Raptor then? Because we're gonna take this vehicle that I'm buying, well, we're buying, uh, I'm gonna give it to you to drive back, and we're gonna take it drag racing, and we're gonna race it against the Raptor. Ah, okay, five questions. Okay. All right, is it a truck? It is not a truck. Okay. It's not a truck. All right, all right. Is it a race car? It is not a race car. Is it a, ah, is it a Ford product? Oh, you're getting warmer. Huh? It could be a Ford, it but could. it's not. Can it tow? Uh, maybe, sort of, kind of. It's not a tow vehicle. Here's a good one. Okay. Does it have a roll cage? It does not have a roll cage, uh, uh, but it does have specialty equipment. But I'm, I'm getting it in Cheyenne uh, because uh, the people we're buying it from are specific to Cheyenne. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, final question. It, 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 actually, statement, because I know. Okay. It's a Jeep. It's not a Jeep. No, it's not. Why what? Would a Jeep be because it's in Wyoming. <laughs> they do cow punching there. Pokes. <laughs> cow poking. It's not, they, poke, they poke the cows. It, it's not. It's Jeeps. It's not. Well, look. Dude, we're like 21 miles outside of Cheyenne, so in the next half hour, you will find out what I bought, and you will get to drive it home, and I think you're going to like it. Let, let me, that's another hint. I think you're going to like it, and I think it's something that all of us have fantasized about actually owning. So we're almost here, um, and I will give you some more clues, okay? All right. I'll make it easier on you, all right? Uh, these vehicles um, are known for two color combinations. Actually, left one color. Left, left. Oh, left. All right. For one color combination. They're known for one color combination. combination yes, they are. Well, some some states have different color combinations. But states. Yes. So they, they were sold to people in uh, Colorado as well, but they're known for a very specific color combination. If I say that, if I say the two colors, it'll give it away. So for all of you playing at home, I want to try to make this a little bit more interesting than giving you that huge of a hint. Well, it's, it's, right, I'll keep, I'll give you some states. more hints. Okay. Well, states make sense. So, okay. So this is a state car. So this is something that. It is a, there you go. It's, it, it, it belongs. We're buying it from the state. That, that's a big clue too. Yeah. It's gotta be an ambulance. So we're going to get an ambulance, red and white, typical killer. We're going over here. You can see the sign up here. Yeah. Wyoming Department of Transportation. Is that right, Tommy? Mm -hmm. Making a left? Yes. Okay. So we're going to the Wyoming Department of Transportation. It's not going to be a Dodge Journey, Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sign. Holy cow. Safe starts with you. All right. Oh, I see it. I see him. I see him. <laughs> you can see him right there. <laughs> So is it uh, one of these yellow trucks? Well, you said it wasn't a truck, and there's yellow trucks. I, think it's over there. I know. I'm just going to give. I, I see some of them parked over here. So I know, Tommy. Well, it says it's the exact cars over there. I know, but um, here is here here is a, here is a clue coming up here. If it's a Dodge Aspen, I'm going to shoot someone. You see him right there? Oh, you didn't. I did. Oh, that one's really hail damaged. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so I figured it out. Do you want me to give it away? Because it's right there. It's hopefully not this one that's damaged. Yeah, it isn't that one that's damaged. It might be this one that's parked here in the front, this black one. So they come. the colors are black and white. That's what so, I was going at. But, okay, I mean, cool. It's, yeah. I, I, I'm thrilled that we finally are getting our hands on a Dodge Charger. Yeah. But I don't understand what the point is about not being able to get what, because it has a gumball on it? No, because there's, let's go look at it, because right. I think this is exactly ours. So the reason you can't buy this car is because it's all-wheel drive. They build all-wheel drive char yes. uh, chargers. Yes, but what engine? Well, the, uh, what you know, the Pentastar. Yes, but this doesn't have a Pentastar. Huh. So, you're saying this has, what, a this Hemi? This has a Hemi. They never sold the V8 all-wheel drive charger to the public. It was only available to the police department. Like a, spe a police special or a highway sp uh, pursuit yeah, special like, like or something. Like a pursuit, exactly. So we got a V8 all-wheel drive charger on brand new snow tires. <laughs> snow tires, <laughs> ideal for um, summer conditions. <laughs> Drag racing. Yes, thank you for, yeah. And you know, so, so wait a minute, this has a Hemi and it has all wheel drive. Yeah. 
Yeah, they never sold that way. It never was available that way. No, not to the public. So, so the series we're going to do, and that's why we brought the Raptor, was Whoa. we're going to do a video series. I love and We're going to find out if your car is faster than a police car. Ah, oh. oh, now you get it. Okay. All right, all right, let me go get the keys, and uh, we'll take a look under the hood, and we'll check out the inside. Very cool. I did not expect this. There so what do you think, dude? Well, I can tell you one thing. What? You got 10 cents back on your investment. Look at that. <laughs> it right. comes standard. That's probably money from a crook who was trying to buy someone off. So let me get the paperwork. Hold oh. on. Let's pop the hood. I'm popping the hood, Roman. All right, pop the hood. So I'll show you the paperwork. So here's the deal. So we bought this at a government auction, and we paid a grand total of uh, $8,000 for it. 8099 dollars Yeah. It's a 2019, right? Yeah. Uh, and under the hood, you'll show them what makes it special. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So this, this, is, this is what you couldn't buy. Voila! That, my friends, is a Hemi. That is a Hemi. That's right. <laughs> That is a Hemi with a lot of miles on it, because <laughs> yeah. I believe this has 150,000 miles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, is that a lot of people could get the charger with all-wheel drive, or you could get a charger with a Hemi. But the charger with all-wheel drive and a Hemi did not exist at regular dealerships, as far as I know. I could be correcting you. Maybe there's some special one that I didn't know about. But for the most part, this was like a pursuit special. This is State Highway Patrol, right? Yes, well, look, you can see it over here. Come over here. Come check this out. Well, the other thing I want to say... State, state, you can kind of see it. If you look closely, you can see where it said State Trooper. So, in the previous Gen Charger... So, in the previous Gen Charger... Here, hi, everybody. You take this. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. In the previous Gen Charger, the civilian model could be had with the Viet and the all-wheel drive for a couple of years. There's actually one right there, the white car. Yeah. That's an all-wheel drive civilian um, RT with the V8. Yeah. But in this newer body style... Um, it's uh, V8 all-wheel drive only in the, um, the, the police spec, which is pretty cool. So there's some other, Ian, sorry to, to hijack this video here, Nathan. No, that's right. So under the hood, there's a couple of things which are different between this and the civilian charger. These lights up here, so there's a, um, a higher discharge light so you can see what's going on underneath. So you can electrocute pure perps. Yes. Tell me where the drugs are! Drugs! <laughs> that's right, Nathan, yeah. And then, Ian, if you want to open up uh, the door here, Dad, show you some of the differences in here. Hey, uh, oh, look what I found. Look. Safety vest? No, yeah. Okay. And a body bag. Oh. Check it out. Body bag. And the body bag. Yeah. Oh, we got the 2019 Charger User's Guide. Look at that. Not ever taken out of the plastic. And then check this out. So some other differences between the police and the civilian model column shift. So um, officers have large belts on, right? And they've got uh, a lot of equipment. And so. they also had all that computer stuff that was there that was been ripped out. Yep, you're right, Nathan. And then if you look overhead, there's no um, sun visor or uh, center dome light. The dome light's actually this large thing in the middle. So that's unique to the police charger. And then my favorite feature, Ian, if you want to look over there, there are no rear door handles. Yeah, not right there. Or right here. Yeah, there are no rear door handles at all. Well, because you don't want those perps or getting little, out. little spunts. Yeah, so uh, if you have especially wily kids, maybe the cop version of the charger is the way to, way to do it. Look, we got three keys. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Let's see what's in the trunk. What's yeah. So the trunk also has, um, we should find a full-size spare. Shotguns! Want to double-click it there, Dad? Yes, yeah, so we do have the full-size spare, which is nice, and we're missing all of like the computer stuff and, and all that's been removed. Well, look, Nathan, we even got a jack. Yes, yes, we did. We could beat perps with that. Yeah. So you're a hard metal. I was hoping for something like a baton or something. Hey, Come hey, on. If, if I remember right, when you start this up, Tommy, you want to start it up? It tells you the amount of hours that the engine's been running because they leave these on all the time. Oh, yeah, they're going to let them idle yeah, so constantly. Here, go in there, Tommy, here, take the mic. You know, yeah. See, see how many hours. I'm curious. It, it should tell you when you get in there. All right, let's see what the uh, engine hours are. So clearly this one's a little dirty. So 5,000 total engine hours and 2,000 of those have been idling, which is pretty funny. See this thing that says secure park? So secure park is a feature where if secure park is, park is active, you can't actually put the car into drive. Um, and there's a little secret button behind the steering wheel, which you use to engage secure park. But the idea is there you can leave your car running 
um, and then perps can't get in and simply drive it away. And then these also have the certified mile per hour speedometer, so you know the speedometer is exactly spot on if you are in pursuit of somebody. How many miles? 148,155 gentle top miles. No, I'm kidding, all at full throttle probably. But look, you even get like a little Uconnect screen here, Ian. Um, so you got your radio, you got phone connectivity, AM, FM. Uh, I, I don't know if it has Apple CarPlay, this is a 2019 model yet. Gotta find that out. But we got apps, all of that is right there. Backup camera, little potato backup camera. And then you got basic climate control down here. We'll do a full video breaking down what you get on the Charger Pursuit versus the standard Charger. Um, there should be another feature here. A little pull lock so you can actually lock out the rear doors completely. So you can't get, That's the, probably where they can't get the, anyone out of the back seat. Hey, check this out. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> You're under arrest, pal! <laughs> uh, I right, love it. Alright, um, so we're going to do the series, right? Basically, we're going to take this to the drag strip and we're going to see if your car is faster than a cop car. We're going to do it against a whole bunch of different cars. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, trouble already. Uh... Won't shift. <laughs> Key fob left the vehicle. It won't let Tom you shift. Uh, Tommy has it then. Yeah, go get it from Tommy, would you? So that's probably what's going Tommy! on. Tommy! Key fob! Do you have the, yeah, do you have the key fob? You've got your uh, park theft recovery feature active. You push the button behind the steering wheel. Oh, it says key fob not detected. Yes. Yeah, that's this. That's this. this. And now... Here, can I take a look? There's a little secret here. So yeah, secure park active. Push the center button to disable. There you go. Uh, there you go. There you go. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, so there's a little button there, so you can't put it in drive. I've got the key fob now. Yeah, so a little bit of both, and we're yeah, good. Yeah, we're, we, we, yeah, between the key fob, but that's cool, huh? So uh, if you're a bad guy, uh, the police can actually disable you from being able to put that into gear. Now we're in gear. Now we're in gear. Yeah, yeah. yeah now we're rocking. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll have to go this way, because go right there. Yeah, go this way. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, a little bit of a mess here. We don't have an armrest. Oh, yeah, but see, when we have a perp, you lay him down. Get down! Whoa. <laughs> Put my elbow on your back! Now, some of the old police cars, maybe some of the new ones, uh, have actual, like, you know, um, I don't know, is it a, a plexiglass? Yeah. yeah, but I think what you do is when you are a police department or whatnot, you order specific things that you want, uh, ballistic glass and all that other stuff, or whatever they call it behind you, that plexiglass, <coughs> and even like, um, what of uh, seats, special yeah. seats that are made out of like um, uh, fiberglass and whatnot, and or they're vinyl. just or vinyl, yeah. but, and then they, some of them have hoops where you can lock the person down. So I would imagine the LAPD's got all the stuff, you know, bars and cages and everything else. Well, so, so get this. So that was my biggest, one of my biggest worries. So when I saw this auction, I called Jeff, who just uh, turned the car over to us, yeah, and I said, Jeff, you know, I mean, how much liquid of human and non-human was spilled, especially in the back seat of the car. And he said that the state troopers don't actually use these to transport the bad guys. They use it more for, as interceptors. Yeah, that's that I would imagine so. And then every once in a while you put a perp in the back. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna say perp a lot when I do this. <laughs> it's so um, cool. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, people are gonna slow down everywhere near me. <laughs> oh, this is great. So, so I, wanna, I wanna put like a fake, I, I don't know if you can even do this. You cannot do anything Thing that makes the car look like a police department vehicle you can get a lot of trouble but what we can do yeah. is we can still put a big old badge on it that says TFL PD or something like that yeah, that's what I'm, so it could be TFL fuzz or TFL yeah. 50 what do you what do you guys think let me know in the comments below should we you know put something that says like TFL fuzz or, or TFL 50 or TFL whatever you know what I mean be fun How's the drive? So far, it's okay. There's a little bit of buffeting. I don't know if you can feel that. It's a little, feel Maybe. that a little bit, little oh, yeah. vibration. Yeah, there's a little vibration coming through the front. Maybe a unbalanced wheel or. It, it could be any number of things. It's not bad though. Yeah, I can feel it just a little bit. It's... I've got my eyes on you, son. <laughs> you think you need to slow down? You think oh yeah, yeah, I guarantee it. I... Okay, right now we're going 65. It's the 65 zone, and nobody's pulling ahead of me at any great so like rate. The speed behind us just pulled up and like checked us out, and it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, I think it's okay. <laughs> yep, that's exactly. Oh, can we tint the windows? The cops, uh, the well, in Colorado, you can tint to a certain degree. But cops don't have tinted windows, right? Uh, it depends if they're cool. If they're cool cops, yes, they do. 
Well, you know, the question, of course, I would be asking myself if I was driving along here is, um, is this an undercover cop car? <laughs> it's not so undercover. <laughs> we still have this light, even though it's not functioning. I, I, gotta, I gotta say, I think that TFL shirt probably gives you away. <laughs> <laughs> might a little. I might a little bit, yeah. But see, they, they, they have to look inside to really see, and they don't want to make too much eye contact, because the whole thing about a cop, Car. You don't make eye contact. <laughs> is that you don't make eye contact no. unless you want to go like, hey, what's up? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like that, that's yeah. like a sure sign of you're you're you know transporting something illegal. <laughs> you make eye contact. This is always the paranoia of even being anywhere near a cop car because you're worried that they're immediately going to pull you over. Hell, are you, when you go through traffic, people are freaking out when the cop pulls somebody else on the side of the road and everybody's slowing down, going under the speed limit to slowly pass by and to make sure that they won't like suddenly go that red Chiraco, man, I'm gonna pull him over. And here's the funny thing about that, as a one comedian once said, unless you're holding a severed head outside the car as you're passing by, they're really not gonna jump in their car and go after you. They're so, not. So, so here's the crazy thing, right? This is a 2019, which is basically a four-year-old car. Yeah. And yet it's got 148,000 miles. It feels like it's got 148,000 miles. It doesn't feel like a four-year-old car. It, it's, got a, it's got a little bit of wear. Yeah, right. yeah, but it's not like horrible. No. Yeah, and I, I also asked um, the Wyoming Department of Transportation before I bought it if it was in any accidents, right? Because he's got because some of the ones that were for sale were you saw them they were hand yeah. damaged. I guess the only thing that happened here is a police officer opened up a door at a gas station into the ballard. You know how they protect the gas pumps with those yeah. concrete uh, ballards and took out that door, but they fixed it or replaced it. So I think it's good. I'm, you know, for eight thousand dollars, dude. If you were to go and try to, well, first of all, you couldn't buy this car, right? They didn't sell it. But if you were to try to buy a Pentastar uh, with with all wheel drive, with all wheel drive, those things from twenty nineteen, those are fifteen to twenty thousand dollar cars. Yes, but they're also, I would imagine, don't have as much mileage and probably didn't live lead a fairly hard life. They probably have, you know, less <laughs> like missing a, stuff. I don't know, maybe a console here. Yeah, maybe yeah. a console here. Yeah. No, there's lots of people who buy from police departments. My, my family used to all the time. This is something that is known, that government vehicles in general are a bargain. The question, of course, is whether or not they were in a motor pool that took care of them properly, and also whether or not the cars themselves were abused or perhaps taken care of. Well, we did check the oil. It was clean. The oil was clean, filled exactly where it needed to be. There's no, there's no lights on. No, uh, it's got a little drip. Um, it's interesting, there's actually a skid plate underneath. Really? Yeah. I think it's protecting uh, both the components going for the steering and also for the uh, the transfer case that's underneath. How does it accelerate? How does it feel? I haven't really pushed it really hard, but because I wanted to scare somebody and come up on them. Does okay. the engine feel pretty tight? Here we go. Okay. It's 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 not it's not dramatic. No, it goes. It's got a little bit of like a growl, like a like a you know a very subtle growl. But well, but we can fix that. I think Alex and Case would love to put straight pipes on it. We can fix that. <laughs> the straight pipe cop car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so the first draggers we're gonna do in the series is obviously police car versus Raptor R. Yeah, that's gonna be so fair. You know, we, we, we get to start somewhere. Oh uh, well, I know it, 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 there's a benchmark, and not right. only that, we'll get some numbers and figure out a few yeah. things about it and how it likes to take off, yeah. and uh, you know that type of thing. And I, I'm happy about it. I'm glad we're doing it on snow tires. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll fix that too. All right. So next stop, uh, wet drag strip. <laughs> All right. Hey Nathan, can you name another V8 sedan cop car you can buy? Do you consider a Mustang a sedan? Maybe? Uh, no, that's not a sedan. It's a two-door. Ford no longer makes sedans. And General Motors no longer makes sedans with V8s at our cop cars. This is it? So this is it. This is the only one. It's going away at the end of the year. Yeah, you mean in terms of challengers or in yeah, chargers yeah, are no longer yeah, going yeah, to be built. Yeah, yet. so I, I think we got, you know, a cool little piece of history here. We have a nice little piece of history, one that has a Hemi in it. Yeah, so what's the horsepower? So it puts out 370 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, yeah, that, that's 700 horsepower. Yes. Yes. And I have snow tires, but at least <laughs> yes. I don't weigh quite as much as yours. <laughs> and what's important here is, yes, of course, no, there's no way I'm going to beat the Raptor R. However, I am going to go in a hot pursuit, so I will pull behind you and I'll fire up my lights. <laughs> we don't have lights. I've got headlights and All I'm right. going to flash my brights and <laughs> I'll, be going, look, I'll be yelling out the window, Woo! Look, I'm just curious, 
We'll, we'll get the solo DLs, right? Yeah. And we'll just find out at a mile above sea level, a Hemi with 150,000 miles all-wheel drive, how quick it is in a quarter mile. How about that? Yeah. Um, after, after, of course, the Raptor crosses the finish line first. Now, it's not really that fair on top of all the other things I mentioned because I do have this light here, and this causes a major issue with aerodynamics as cool as it is. Okay, three movie references. First one, I am the law. That's the first one. Second one is, I am all that is man. And the final one is from a TV show. You want to respect my authority. Name one of those by the time we're done with the race. How about I'll be back? <laughs> That's not a cop movie. <laughs> Robocop. He doesn't say I'll be back. That's Terminator. I am mixing uh, movie metaphors here. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Come on. Oh, this thing takes off like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I had him for almost three inches. That didn't sound right. Poor police car. Because I was doing 109, almost 110 when I crossed the finish line. How about you? What's your time? 16.23 at 86 miles per hour. I was three seconds faster. I was 13.23, exactly three seconds faster. Well, you don't have snow tires on your car, do you? No, 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 no. But um, I think if you're going to race a Raptor R, you need, you know, maybe, wouldn't this be cool? Like a Hellcat charge your police car. All right, I'm in pursuit. Check it out. Yeah, I got my mic. Oh, my... Yeah. Got his hazards on. <laughs> I wonder if I should pull over or if I should do something else, like floor it. guys well thank you for watching uh come back when uh we uh do some more drag racing and we find out if your car is faster than a cop car and nathan um you know our videographer had a great idea he said we should wrap those front doors white oh hell yeah let's take advantage of the fact the car is already blacked out and ready for cop use and make the doors white that is legal coming up soon see you guys next time ciao hasta la vista baby <laughs> See, he's got me doing Terminator. Ah, forget it. So yeah, you know, the other thing we could do with this, obviously, is uh, we could, you know, I'm sure this engine's tired, right? Yeah. 150,000 miles on anything is a, but we could breathe some life into it. You know, we could do some performance ads, so we could do better exhaust. Supercharger. That piece, that would cost as much as the car. So like the seven, eight thousand dollars. Turbocharger. Not, not as expensive. Yeah, no, 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 no. They, they have those things that you can buy online that are electric superchargers. They're basically a hairdryer. Wait, wait, wait. I have another idea. After yeah. we're done with the series, how about an off-roader? Lift it. What Lift, do you guys lifting think? Lifting this? Yeah. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Not only what we should, you know, name it, TFL Fuzz, but should we, when we're done with the drag racing, actually lift it and try to make it into an off-roader? That'd be kind of cool. It'd be interesting. Yeah. I don't know how the all-wheel drive system works. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably not something that's very robust for serious off-roading. Yeah, I would imagine what it's going to do is dump maximum torque to the rear, and then when it requires, you know, uh, some additional traction, it's going to put up to 30% to the front. I believe that's how the other system works. How, how hard would it be to put, like, a crate engine in here, like a 6.4? Well, we've done crate engines before. How easy has that been? Well, that was into an old square body. I mean, yeah. I mean, are the motor mount the same for the? This is a five seven, right? For I, I honestly, this may be different because of the. Remember, it's sitting on top of 
that transaxle that works for the front wheels. So I don't know if it works the same way as it would with you know a regular Chevy and any old engine in here. Yeah. If it was regular rear drive, I don't think it'd be an issue to put anything in here. Yeah, we might bolt the all-wheel drive system. That too. Yeah. Yeah. So well, maybe we just go the uh, you know the classic route by letting it breathe better, giving it more uh, better you know deeper exhaust, and see what that does. And maybe you know maybe having a mechanic look at the engine and see if there's anything that needs to be done to. I'm sure some of the ponies have left the barn over the last four years of police work. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's not so much the four years, it's the police work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People are not passing me and they're refusing. I got awesome. This is great.